What a crazy game. Um, you know, just so proud of my team for hanging in there and finding a way to get it done. You know, we scored a bunch of runs early in the ball game. And uh, Florida State, you just got to give them credit. They hit everything in sight. And, uh, you know, we just uh, just couldn't find a way uh, to execute pitches uh, with, uh, with their hitters. You know, pretty much from the fourth inning on, they had two big innings, and we just couldn't find a way to get them out. And, you know, hitting's contagious. And we couldn't find a way to score. You know, we had in the fifth and the sixth inning, we had opportunities, had second and third, and just couldn't find a way to get it done. Uh, but we kept competing. Uh, kept competing. The momentum, you know, really shifted into, uh, you know, about the second half of the game in their dugout. And our guys just kept fighting, kept fighting. And then finally, you know, there in the ninth, uh, you know, Seth Beer uh, steps up and bleeds one through the middle of the field. And we score a couple. And then Riley Gilliam stepped up and was big time for us there in the ninth. So, uh, you know, we'll take it. You know, these are the kind of games that you got to win. You just – and our guys got to understand, um, you know, that you can't let the, score be, the scoreboard dictate how you compete, you know, even when we're up by a bunch of runs. One thing we know, Florida State is one of the best atmospheres in the country. Um, I, I'll, I got to give their fans credit, man. This place was electric tonight and uh, made it tough on our guys, and their guys kept competing and competing and competing and really challenged us. And uh, But uh, we found a way to get it done. You know, I felt I felt pretty comfortable going up to, to the plate. Um, I, you know, I was just trying to, you know, just see it and hit it. You know, I just was trying to dumb it down. You know, these past couple of weeks, I think I've been uh, thinking too much about it. And today, I just went out and had fun and enjoyed every bit of it. So, um, you know, I was just trying to see the ball and just hit it. So, um, you know, uh, I think the double leading up to that in a, in a, in a uh, one-two count was good for me um, and uh, just kept me honest. And, uh, you know, coming up in that in that situation, I finally, you know, barreled something up and I was joking with the guys I said wow you know my, my bat actually has a barrel I didn't even know that so so that was kind of fun but uh you know it was just a great game for our whole team today How you guys rally back here? well it seems like we've been doing this all year we uh we came out hot in the first half of the game pitchers were doing well and then Florida State came back on fire I mean they hit every pitch we left up like coach Lee was saying they, they put a good swing on it but gotta give credit to this team we found another way to do it tonight about your last hit there in the ninth. Do you think that was going to find a hole out there? Um, I had a pretty pretty good idea I was going to get in, um, shallow of the center fielder, but uh, we talked about it with the coaches, to talking about bunting or hitting, and uh, they had the confidence in me to swing the bat right there. That was big. In the seventh, with uh, two outs, with bases loaded, and it just it's a situation that I haven't been in a lot this season, but I definitely have been trying to prepare myself for um, that moment, just to come in and shut it down. And I let up the let up two runs to tie the game and then from there on it was just more about fo uh, focusing on my process like I always say and just you know keeping us in the game keeping us in it and then in the ninth we had the chance to uh, go ahead and that just gave me more added more fuel, fuel to my fire and I uh, went out and you know pitched the ninth and shut down.